Hey YouTube, um, here again with another pickups video. Just want to show you what I've uh, picked up over this last week. Uh, so firstly we have some VHS. Don't pick up VHS very often, but uh, these uh, have to grab. So first we have the Star Wars Trilogy. These are the special editions. Uh, this is brand new and factory sealed. This came off uh, eBay and it was uh, a 99p start and nobody had bid on it so I thought what the heck. Stuck in a cheeky bid and I got it. Uh, so even with postage this cost me less than £4 so I was uh, really chuffed with that. It'll uh, it'll stay sealed. I've uh, no reason to open it at all. It's purely for collecting purposes. Uh, so yeah. <coughs> uh, next on VHS, I picked up the comic strip presents Mr. Jolly Lives Next Door and Dirty Movie. Uh, Mr. Jolly Lives Next Door is my favourite. Um, I saw this originally on TV in the late 80s, 88, 89, something like that. And ever since, I mean, I've always been a fan of the, uh, the comic strip presents, but uh, Mr. Jolly was always my favourite. Uh, found this in a charity shop the other day uh, for 50p. And uh, there was a time before DVD was popular. Any of these uh, Comic Strip Presents features tapes were uh, uh, very valuable, um, sold very well. I seem to remember on eBay. Uh, these days, of course, they're not, and the whole set is, uh, is on DVD and I have the DVDs. Um, I say the whole set, there's, there's been two new ones over the last few years that have been, uh, been made, although not with many, if any, of the uh, original Comic Strip casks cast in them um, but all the, the classic ones are on the 90s box set which uh, there are one or two on there that aren't as good as the others but uh, for the most part yeah they're great but uh, yeah I saw this when I was in the charity shop on Friday and I thought gotta get it never ever come across those on VHS uh, right this is the one and only DVD that I've picked up this week and it is a steelbook minority report uh, definitive edition it's again like all the others in this set uh, two disc uh, has the internal artwork um, this again came off eBay last week uh, $2.99 very happy with that uh, and some Blu-rays, uh, some more steel books. Um, these two came off Savvy. They were at a sale, uh, two for ten pounds. So I had to grab these. These are the two uh, classic Doctor Who movies from the 1960s, starring Peter Cushing. Um, these have been on my wish list ever since they were uh, announced. Um, but at the seventeen ninety nine price point when they first came out, that was that was always going to be too much. Uh, I do like these, but uh, to be realistic, I would that that would seventeen ninety nine was just too much for these. I, I wasn't going to pay that. But when uh, they came down, I think they were twelve ninety nine each, and then I sort of hummed and hard, and I get them. I thought, no, they're uh, they've been around for a while now. They're, they're, I'll risk them. The hope that they won't sell out, and they came down to two for twenty, and I thought ten pounds each. They may well get cheaper than that, but uh, that was a price point I was happy with. So yeah, so they are Doctor Who and the Daleks, and Daleks Invasion Earth twenty one fifty AD. I mean, these are really really cheesy, low budget sci-fi films from the 1960s but they're they're really good i enjoy them they're a lot of fun uh, next one of the uh, highlights of this week i think this is the deep red 
uh, our release. Uh, been waiting for this for so long. Uh, I believe it was last summer it was announced. Uh, originally, I think, with an August release. Um, and then that got put back to December. Uh, and then that got put back to now. It's actually due out tomorrow. But Arrow had them in stock beginning of this week and shipped them out. This is a gorgeous set. Um, and they're on the uh, uh, window box edition of this. Um, but this has an extra disc with the soundtrack on. And uh, I really do like um, the music that Goblin do for a lot of these uh, Arrow, well, they all done for Arrow releases, they've done for the, the uh, films back in the 60s and 70s and 80s, um, mostly the Italian horror films. But yeah, this is a beautiful set. Most, uh, first Arrow release for a long time that I've seen that uh, comes with a poster, double sided. Uh, So, one side and the other side is the, the, I think the original artwork from the 70s, so that's cool. Right, that. And then like most arrow releases, it comes with a booklet, but in this case it's a bigger booklet than normal. That is just a great image on there. And then inside you've got a whole bunch of uh, stuff in there about the film and lots of uh, stills and nice artwork. And then of course you've got, unfortunately it's in an Amory, which was a little bit disappointing, but uh, that's the reverse artwork sent to the poster. Yeah, a lot of uh, Arrow's more recent limited editions have come in uh, digipacks, but you know what, it's okay. Uh, there's also a bunch of uh, high cards that come in there. There's uh, one, two, three. Five and six in total. I'll have the same uh, artwork on the back, I believe. Yep. And of course, you've got your three discs um, with the original version and the export version. And then of course the soundtrack. Both these versions of the movie are on the uh, window box edition, but these have uh, been remastered in, uh, in 4K. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what these look like. In fact, I'm probably going to watch this tonight. So this is, if not my favourite, the toss up between this and something else I've got this week. Yeah, this is, is really awesome. Uh, I'm so happy this has finally been released because it's been a long time coming. Okay, <clears throat> next, I uh, had a trip into cash converters on Friday and I grabbed Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. And I got Part 1, I think, in December, November or December last year. Um, I haven't seen either of them yet, I've been waiting to get this so I can watch them back to back. I didn't want to watch the other one, not knowing if and when this was going to come. Oh, when I was going to find it, shall I say? It's two quid. So, yeah, I'm chuffed with that. You might watch soon. Uh, and also from Cash Converters. I watched this yesterday and it was absolutely brilliant. A million ways to die in the West. Uh, this was. Three pounds, and it came with a still valid digital copy. So that was a bonus. But yeah, definitely recommend this. It was uh, really funny. Good movie. Uh, then I 
off eBay. Uh, I ordered this week before last. It took almost a week to get here, but it was really, really cheap. This was another pickup from uh, East Stocks on eBay. This is Wonders of the Solar System. It cost me a grand total of one pound and sixty-three pence. So you can't go wrong with that. Uh, two disc Blu-ray. Uh, Professor Brian Cox. And he's usually uh, usually good. So yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, next, we have two films that are. Almost unpronounceable, but we'll give it a go. We've got Koreanis Katsi and Pawakatsi. Now I have probably just butchered both of those, but uh, translated Life is Out of Balance and Life in Transformation. Uh, films by Francis Ford Coppola and George Lucas. I remember these being announced by our own, these, these obviously our own release. Um, yeah, I remember these being announced by Arrow a couple of years ago and they just went completely off my radar because of the titles. I just assumed there were some obscure Asian movies, possibly Japanese, um, and never bothered, never even looked for them. Uh, and then I spotted one of these box sets in... Uh, Gateshead last year when I was up there uh, in CVX and I thought it was a beautifully presented set uh, she got this lovely big booklet uh, and then a couple of digipacks with the, uh, the movies in with some uh, great artwork Yeah, so I spotted these in Gateshead last year in CAX and uh, just the packaging I thought was really, really nice. Um, but I didn't get it and cause at that point I was still um, still not sure about them. Uh, and did some reading up online on the Arrow website and found out that uh, they weren't actually foreign language movies. That they were... Uh, American made movies and finally spotted them in CEX last week uh, it was £8 for the set so I jumped on it and I was really happy I hadn't actually watched them yet but uh, yeah I'm really happy with, uh, with the set uh, and finally uh, this week um, as I mentioned in one of last week's videos I've been to HMV last Sunday check out some uh, prices and stock of, uh, of Blu-rays that uh, were yet to be released and what, if they were getting any in and this last one when I uh, spoke to the guy he said they were getting or they had got one uh, it obviously didn't go out until Monday because it wasn't released till Monday but they said they had one and that was the only one they were getting and uh, said I'll put your name on it if you want so I said yes please and went on Monday morning and grabbed it and this is the Ninja Trilogy uh, films from the 80s uh, the first two Enter the Ninja and Revenge of the Ninja I had never seen but I was familiar with Ninja 3 The Domination um, from when it was released and that was purely and simply uh, the actress that was in it I knew from the breakdance movies that were around at that time and that was pretty much the only reason I ever watched that film I can't remember whether it was any good or not to be perfectly honest but uh, I've watched the first one of these now this week and really enjoyed it just the right amount of cheese 80s uh, action um, some of it was uh, some of the fights were quite poor to be to be frank but uh, that just that just made it that much better to watch yeah, it's one of those things that uh, when something is so bad it's good and this was that it was uh, it was a lot of fun uh, like I said just the right amount of cheese 
Again, this comes with a great booklet. Some nice uh, artwork stills from the uh, from the movies, and it comes in this digi pack. Five discs, two Blu-rays, and three DVDs. Um, the DVDs each contain one movie apiece, and the Blu-rays. Uh, we've got the first disc containing the first two movies, and then the second disc with the third movie. Unfortunately, these digi packs with no hubs on them are held in by these horrible little clips, which I'm sure this camera won't pick up. It's a uh, sort of one either side, and then one here and there. To be honest, they're, they're horrible. I don't like them at all. It's so fiddly to get the discs in and out, and uh, they're not really that secure. They can, uh, yeah, don't like it at all. The set is gorgeous, and the films, or well, the film that I've seen so far, was excellent. Um, but that little part of the packaging, I don't like. The rest is great, uh, and I'm really looking forward to finishing this trilogy. Anyway, that's it. That's everything I've picked up this week. Uh, again, this video has gone on a lot longer than I expected to with these few amount of items. Um, I'm going to have to learn to maybe not uh, waffle on so much and keep these videos a bit shorter. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with uh, these few things I've got this week. Um, like I said last week, I wasn't expecting to get much. Um, and yeah, here we are, all this. Um, I didn't expect to get much at all this last week and the same I'm going to say the same for this week I've actually got uh, only one item from eBay and I don't expect to receive it um, this is an item I've uh, ordered now seven times from the same company eStocks the same item uh, so far Three times they've sent me the wrong item. Three times they've cancelled the order before it was even shipped. And one time it's lost in the post. So that's seven times I haven't received the same thing that I've ordered. I've ordered it again and it was confirmed as posted out on, I want to say Wednesday, but uh, could have been Tuesday. But anyway, Eastock Eastock's always takes at least a week to get here. Uh, but that, yeah, that's the only thing I've got ordered off eBay or, or anywhere else. There's no more pre-orders this month that I'm expecting. Um, a few for next month. So I really don't know unless I pick something up again during the week. Uh, I don't know of anything else that's coming uh, this next week. But we'll see. Um, hopefully... I'll have another video for you next week. Uh, but anyway, waffling on again. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers now. Ciao.